Well, I want to get back to the Secret Service funding because you don't think that's the answer. Forbes actually has reporting from July that I would love to share with you. They wrote, or we wrote this, the Secret Service, quote, was allocated over $3 billion in taxpayer dollars in 2024, up from $2.78 billion last year for its operations. That's almost certainly the most the Secret Service has ever had at its disposal, adjusted for estimated inflation. That $3 billion is still about $100 million higher than the 2023 budget and the highest since at least 20. 14. So if you don't think that they need more funding, do you have questions about where this money is going? I do. How many bureaucrats does it take to, to funnel us like the Department of Education? Shut it down, send the money to the states. Um, you know, they've got too many bureaucrats. And again, they're all protected under some government union or something. I'm sure half three quarters of the, bureau, the paper shufflers are. But their job should be protecting dignitaries, protecting members of state. How many do they have now? I dare say it's probably below 30. And then you divide 3 billion up in that amount. It, you know, it doesn't take long to figure out. You got a bunch of paper shufflers over there. Get out of it, get them in there, get somebody in there like a Dan Bongino or somebody that's actually got some guts that understands the program and is, is not afraid to step up. And let's, let, let's see what happens. All you've got, look, you've got the lady who was in charge who was obviously didn't have a clue about what was going on. The guy comes in under her that under the same program and he's going to do something different. No, he's not. He's just going to cover his butt. He understands the program. That's his dream probably to be the head of the Secret Service. So he's in that spot. So he's going to say whatever it takes to get him through this election cycle so he can stay in power. That's all it's about. It's not about we're doing what's right. It's human nature. Let's let's cut through that and let, I'm tired of it. Let's 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 take the top couple of layers out. Let's bring in the men and women who actually do the job and ask them what they need, not some bureaucrat at the top that's schmoozed his way through the cycle, that's friends with the president or friends with the president's wife or whatever they've done, which they've done in the past. We know that. And and let's 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 see what we need. But until then, I'm not for voting for any more money for them. So then no more money from uh, Congressman Tim Burchett, but what are you going to do to ensure this doesn't happen again? Well, first of all, I, they need to get out of the counterfeit police business. That should not, that should be over at Treasury. A lot of people don't realize that's a large portion of what they do is, is counterfeit enforcement. Um, I think that's the first thing. And then that would free up additional funds and resources and people. To, and if they're not, if they're an accountant that, that looks at you know, serial numbers on $100 bills, they need to get over to Treasury or maybe they need to find a new job. I think that's first. And then we'll we'll free up the additional funds there. Um, what Congress needs to do is get some guts. You know, we do these hearings and we drag them out and drag them out and drag them out. And then elections coming in November, we'll forget about it in a couple of weeks, unless there's another shooting. But I'm afraid we're not gonna get lucky these next times. I think they real. The, you know, if somebody's out there that's a professional, they realize the, the stupid mistakes these last two have made, and we could have a real tragedy on our hands. Well, Congressman, I appreciate our conversations per usual. I hope next time we can speak under some lighter circumstances, but I appreciate you coming on today. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure, ma'am. Thank you so much for having me.